Today we're going to be looking at the Tier 8 Kansas, Minnesota. I'm going to go ahead and give you my full and honest review on this boat. I'm going to play it for the very first time. I just got it fully equipped, bought it, good to go. And we're going to get like my actual honest opinion. Kansas, meh. This thing I'm assuming is probably going to be somewhere along the same line. I'm going to go ahead and play two or three games and then I'll figure out kind of what I think about it as I play it. The only thing I'm not, I don't have on here is going to be the engine mod, which isn't all that impressive, only gives you an extra two knots. Yeah, it's something, but in reality of the game, it's really nothing. So that kind of tells me this thing is going to be kind of slow, just like Kansas. Hopefully it's got good firepower, not quite sure. The question is not, is this boat going to fit into tier eight? It's definitely going to fit into tier seven. But will it have fun? Will it fit into Legendary tier? That's the big question. I'm seeing that it's got a 32 mil nose. Um, you can, it's flashing behind my head here. Let me help you. You can see it flashing here. Uh, that's 32. It's got one plate right there. That's 32, but that plate's 273. That's really interesting. Don't know why that's there. The top deck is 32 as well. So that kind of tells me a handful of things initially going into it. Yama is going to punch this thing directly in the face. We are going to run Miss Hentai here because it's 16-4 and it's pretty good. Well, sort of good. But I love this firefighter perk because you really can't get burnt down anywhere near as easy. So we're going to go ahead and put this commander on. We're going to run it. See what happens. Before you go race into the comment section. Yes, I fished a fishing tournament this weekend. Yes, I fished on Saturday. No, I did not wear sunscreen. Yes, I wore SPF gear and I still got it a little bit. Yes, I'm a little bit red. Uh, it's not bad at all though. Kansas, I think has a 32 reload. This actually has a 34 reload. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not specking into one thing or the other. It's my standard build, which is accuracy, which I think this platform is gonna have to have accuracy in order to be good i'm guessing thinking about kansas this is going to have those sh uh slower shells i got lucky i got put in a tier seven instead of a legendary i'm just assuming that we're going to get put into a legendary at some point i'm hoping this thing has massive deletion power we're just going to find out possibly sooner than i expected Or Salo. Ooh. I expected better. First salvo on the ship lands four overpins on a broadside Jappy. And when I mean broadside, guys, I mean broadside. I see shell hole. Shell hole. Shell hole up there. Hmm. Okay. Now learning the lead, obviously. I'm gonna have to learn the lead a little bit. I'm assuming it's fairly similar to Kansas, so that's just how I'm gonna shoot it. And that looks like pretty good lead. Four pins, one over pin, two salvos in, 23. Okay. Damn, I dodged the first rack. Halfway decent. I'm gonna flip the guns. Massachusetts back gun, armor check. Mmm. I mean, damn. Hit the snot out of that boy, but that was good dispersion. Did you guys see that dispersion? Clustered, footballed, like a spiral going down range. That was nice. Or pen, please. Yeah, it doesn't seem overly accurate all the time. Or I've only had one really good salvo. It does have some pretty decent armor if it, if it stays angled. We're probably dead. Let's see how many we can take with us, though. Oh. Oh, that's sick, dude. They they changed the uh, the D pad. I hate that. That's my one of my biggest pet peeves about this game. They changed the D pad so that standard American is right on the D pad for your plane. Well, now it's secondary booster. That's just 
you know, it's what happens when you get foreign people that make video games for common sense people, I guess. I don't know. that. I cannot stand that. And they don't let you remap it either. And that's the, one of the dumbest things about the game, honestly. If they could just change that one little detail, it could be just... It's so stupid. I, I thought it was a na by nation thing, but I mean, this is an American and they they still they double fire. They they still put it. I don't understand that at all. I mean, that was the first game. Let's play like at least two or three before I give any kind of an assessment. First game, 37 on target, 119, three sits and a dev strike. Okay, let's play it again. Never could have seen this coming, dude. Not only did we get my favorite map in the game, we also got up tiered. This will be a more fair assessment, though, of this boat because number one, it puts it in a bad position, and number two, it gets up tiered. So that's kind of what, if, if I was to take three games in a row and kind of get a guess of this boat, that's what I would do. I wouldn't go for the best case scenario because this is kind of the worst case, but we'll see what happens. Every game never fails. Mm, oh man. I have no idea what the hell the lead is on that. Throw it, I guess. Just a 34 second reload. Are we gonna click him? I cannot believe we actually hit him. Oh no, Seattle. No. Oh, you're. Oh my gosh. Don't know if those got away. Find out, I guess. Yep, they got away. Okay. And what I mean by that is, like, he disappeared as he was fading. I went ahead and double tapped because I knew I was going to lose the shot. And sometimes if you're a little bit slow on that, you'll lose that target lock and you'll acquire because you have to... The aiming system in this game is messed up. So, like, when you aim at a target, you have to aim, you know, way up there when he's kind of kiting away. If you lose that target lock, you'll reacquire and you'll be aiming 19-6 instead of aiming for 18-4 but locked onto a target. It's a messed up system. They need to change it. Uh, they won't change it, but... Might not be enough. I'm expecting him to turn in. Oh, good, he is turning in. Come on. No, that's not good. That's a very interesting way of playing Wooster. He just goes bow in and then... Okay, this will be a good check of these shells, though. What can it do to bow on Wooster? The ship is on fire. Two overpins for- How does two overpins for 6k work? What? You're telling me overpins are worth 3k? There's no shot. There's no shot they're worth 3k. If they're worth 3k, then I'm gonna pop a plane and just go for overpins. There's a pin for 4,800. Oh, by the way, I, so I told you I'm running New Jersey, so you do get a little more extra damage, a little more spiciness. Our team is taking the lead. Can we get multiple to land? Yes, we can. No, wait, 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 wait. If a pin is 4,800, we just got two pins there. That should be close to 10K. We got two overpins for 6K. That's two pins, two overpins for 10K. Why do I feel like math skills aren't very strong in a certain place in the world? He can't, he's not saturated. There's no shot he's saturated. Did we hit that? Four overpins. Four overpins. We hit that. Okay, I almost don't even want to DC because the threat of torpedoes is really high, and I'm really not ticking from fire damage that much. So, just cut in, neutralize this Wooster's ability to do anything. Okay, that game ends with, I think, a lot more realistic look for the boat. 31 on target, so we didn't really have any looks. We didn't really have that much opportunity, which I think that's something that you get a lot on that game, that, that particular map, and only uh, 49k in damage. That to me looks a lot more realistic for what to expect from the boat, but let's play one more game and see how it goes. You can't make it up, dude. You just can't make it up, dude. At least it's not capture the base, but... We're in a tier eight lobby, tier eight and tier seven. See how this goes, I guess. I'm assuming he's stopping with that smoke screen. I don't know why else he'd pop it. 
aimed up a little bit from auto aim. See what we get? A ricochet. Okay. That's kind of a blind shot. It's worth taking, though, I feel. I am learning something about the propulsion system and the turning. Um, I'll save him for the end. Okay, I got a gun. I like that. He's turning all the way out. That's a strategy. Hard charge C, get to the cap, and then run away. Okay. I like it. I've got to pop the plane. I haven't popped the plane yet because I kind of wanted to see what the dispersion looked like without it. I am a little bit curious, though, if I were to pop it. A 16. I do kind of feel like, as of right now, that New Jersey Commander is probably the way to go. That's pretty cancer. We need to kill that. I like that he's got him on hydro. No. Well, that's next level tragic. Well, this is a perfect plane moment if I've ever seen one. Perfect plane moment. He ended up turning. Get that boy, Friesland. That a boy, Friesland. We will probably take that look right there. A good trade by that Friesland, man. Good trade. Hmm. <laughs> wonder if it's going to be worth actually maybe hitting a Bismarck. Pretty good angle. He's going for the carrier. Might be worth. Their carrier spotted. That was actually a pretty good hit. For what that was, that was a pretty good hit. The enemy team has taken the lead. Okay. We're looking for either a gun or big damage. It looks like we're gonna get neither. We got a gun. Okay. Got kind of lucky there. Must be already damaged. Now I want you to know, see how that Minnesota's playing? I feel like that's how this thing is gonna have to be played quite a lot, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and turn guns and deal with the target. Ooh, never mind. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh. Oh what? Oh, I should have I should have zoomed in. Dang it. It looks so good. That was actually, I think, one of the best-looking salvos we've seen. All right, I played three games. I had a mostly Tier 7 lobby. I had a legendary Tier 8 lobby. And then I had a, a mostly 8 lobby with a couple 7s in there. And I can honestly tell you, overall, I'm not that impressed. If I was to give out scores on things. Like, let's go off this thing here. So let's do survivability, artillery... AA, maneuverability, concealment. Let's just, I'm going to give you my scores. The, the stat line gives you scores, but that's, you know, it's made in Wargaming. So as far as survivability goes, I don't think a 93 is very fair. I would probably give it somewhere in like a, a 7.5. I don't think it's all that great. Um, uh, it's just me. And the main reason I give it a 7.5 is not really for armor. But it's, it's a multitude of things. So it's your ability to start and stop at range and dodge cells. Your ability to turn out and turn in. Your ability to hit the gas pedal and disengage. It's just really not there. So I would give it a 7.5. Artillery. So it does have the, the 406. So it's 16 inch guns. Um, just from playing it, I'd probably give them... I'd probably give it like a 7, honestly. Because you got to realize the boat's going to have to play tier 7, tier 8, and legendary tier. When it plays legendary tier, they are nowhere near as effective. And you have a 34 second reload. That hurts. 34 reload hurts quite a bit. And only having 16 inch guns, 
Yes, you can do things. Yes, you can take advantage of people that are broadside. But the reason I'm giving it a, like a seven really it comes down to accuracy. I didn't find that Minnesota had that same level of accuracy that Kansas had, and they're built the same way. From just a preliminary evaluation, I feel like Kansas is like on the order of magnitude more accurate. And I feel like that's going to hurt this thing. Being you have the same guns at a higher tier, I mean, if it was if it was more accurate, I feel that you would probably do quite a bit better with it. And I think that would that would make it a little bit more playable. As far as AA goes, uh, I only had a couple opportunities to even shoot down an airplane. So this one's kind of a question mark for me. I'm going to go ahead and just refer to their thing here where they say 88, 8.8. I feel like that's probably a little bit high, especially when you come into something like legendary tier airplanes. You got to remember, this thing is really kind of slow. So HE spam, uh, it's going to knock your AA out and your AA is gone. 8.8 is probably a little bit high. But you would probably somewhere say in the 8, maybe the 7 range, I would say, for AA. Plus, don't forget they have that invincibility button, too. Uh, maneuverability, uh, Wargaming got that one right. They gave it a 15 score for maneuverability. That's It's got pretty bad maneuverability. Um, I noticed that my, my starting and stopping, yes, I don't have the upgraded engine, and yes, that will help. But even without it, it felt kind of sluggish. Um... I felt like Kansas was a little bit better in that regard, if that makes any sense. It just felt it felt heavier. I know I don't have the engine mod, but still, it felt heavier. I don't really care for the maneuverability of this thing, and I do think that's something that separates a certain class of ship. If you're not going to be able to have maneuverability, be quick on your feet, be light on your feet, then you have to have guns. And that's where this thing really kind of disappointed me a little bit because I kind of thought it would be a tier 8 Kansas and Kansas is known for its accuracy. So overall, a little bit disappointed there. I'd probably give it, out of 10, I'd probably give it like a 2.5 or a 3. Now, as far as concealment goes, I thought it was pretty standard for a battleship. The concealment didn't feel terrible. Um, it's 13.7, it's 11.5 by air. Wasn't terrible, wasn't great. I would just probably just give it a standard like 5. That's going to wrap up this review, uh, this first look of this boat. If you guys like the video, let me know in the comment section down below. When you play it, let me know what you think. Was I giving you accurate statements and numbers? Is your Minnesota way more accurate than mine? I'd love to know. Until next time, guys. Appreciate you all. Everyone have a great day. Peace!